although the Apple iPhone 5 is said to arrive in stores until later this summer. Rumor has it that future iPhones and iPads could replace the traditional LCD screen displays with OLED screens. According to Christian Post, there was a report from the Korea Times that Samsung, the maker of OLED screens, has increased their production of these screens. An unnamed executive for the company claimed that these were for Apple. Thanks to the increased volume, chances have been raised to ship Samsung's OLED for Apple's iPods and even iPhones. Another unnamed source explain how Samsung's electronic components are vital to Apple's success. Apple is Samsung's biggest customer, buying $7.8 billion of components, such as memory chips and LCDs, in 2011. This year, it will buy around $11 billion of Samsung parts, despite the deepening legal battle between the two companies. The OLED screens are already used in many of Samsung's high-end products, such as smartphones including the Galaxy Nexus and the Focus S, tablet computers including the Galaxy Tab and televisions. Apparently when Samsung tried to sell their OLED screens to Apple but they didn't make a purchase at the time. Apple reinvents their most popular products, including the iPhone and iPod every few years, so it should come as no surprise that the rumor mill is in full effect again. At press time, there has been no confirmation from either companies. In the next few weeks, up to a few months, we will hear more rumors about the long-awaited Apple iPhone 5 but in all reality, we should never count on a rumor unless it's been confirmed to be a true. The most current iPhone ended up the game with impressive features, an 8MP iSide camera, the OS 5 iCloud, Siri personal assistant, and a dual Core 5 chip, so it's anyone's guess what the next generation will feature. Stay tuned.